G'day guys, Scott from RV Solutions here. I'm um, just going to run you through a, a couple of chair reviews. So we've been out and about quite a lot lately, we've um, been getting away quite a bit, and we're trying lots of different styles of uh, camping furniture. Uh, we don't like to sell any products unless we've used them ourselves. So yeah, just give you a rundown of some of the chairs we've used for our last few trips. So I've got a Navigator chair, I've got a Helinox chair, and I've got a chair by Yeti. Um, all really good quality chairs, and they've sort of got their own individual characteristics. Um, well, the first one I'm talking about is the Navigator chair. So, reasonable weight, um, guessing probably around uh, six, seven kilos at least. Uh, the build quality seems really nice. Setup is virtually instant, straightforward. Obviously, become no travel bag. Uh, the stitching, everything on it is a really nice quality chair. Um, they are actually made in China, um, but I actually had to check the tag because I thought they were too good to be made in China, if that makes any sense. Uh, after looking at them, I thought, wow, well, it's did look very much Australian made. Uh, I'm sure it was Australian made, they're probably a lot more expensive than they are. Um, but they as I say, the little wine glass holder, cup holder, uh, they're actually quite padded. Um, sitting in is pretty comfy, seat height's pretty good too. Um, we've used these for three trips now. Um, we've got the kid size chairs for these two, which are pretty comfy. Um, maybe slightly shorter legs, it does take from the back of your leg a little bit, but most normal white people won't have that problem. Um, yeah, as I say, as far as the chair goes, it's pretty good. I'd, I'd happily recommend one of you uh, to use these. Um, I can see them lasting six, seven years. Uh, we've had lots and lots of camping chairs. That's where we started to branch out from the normal stuff you get at BCF or those other top stores. Most chairs we have, they can last 12 to 18 months and they sort of start getting a bit tangy around the edges or they're not as comfortable as they look or as comfortable as you thought they were going to be. Um, these ones aren't that expensive. Um, 120 bucks. It's a pretty decent quality chair. So. Next one we got is the Helinox chair. Now you notice I've left this one packed up so you can see the size of it. Now we went to the Helinox ones because the caravan that we've got uh, weighs 2,150 kilos tear weight. We're telling the land crews that doesn't give us a whole heap of storage. So we've got 550 kilos of payload. Okay. Chairs for a family of five, including the table, they're coming at six or seven kilos total. Um, super, super light. Um, that's what attracted us to these. So setting up as well, there's a little bit more in it than the other chairs, but it's not particularly hard at all. So setting up, really pretty straightforward. You can do I don't know, probably less than a minute, I suppose. So maybe four sips of a beer at a time. these chairs is basically the weight of them. They literally weigh next to nothing. Um, the build quality of them is actually really, really nice too. You can actually sort of see the quality of the plastics is quite high and there's a lot of aluminium. Um, made in Korea actually. Yeah, but quality wise, yeah, it's really nice. The fabric is good too. Um, comfort's superb. So seeing these, it's quite a bucket chair. Uh, it does miss out on armrests and cup holders, um, but you're pretty low to the ground. I can reach my beer quite comfortably from there anyway, so I'm not really so fussed. Um, actual sitting and comfort wise, uh, this thing is superb. Um, I've spent a lot of hours in it on the beach. Um, they're really good for that. The Probably the couple of downfalls I'd say with this particular chair though is the weight as well. So what I mean by that, we were camped at our winter at Nicola Station and we found that when it was windy, and it was windy every day, uh, these chairs were so light that they would literally blow down the beach. Um, so your kids would constantly have to go and chase them while I sat there and had a beer. Um, you can actually get a little attachment for the bottom of these two, so they don't actually sink into the, sink into the sand, so we did that. It's basically like a little mesh attachment on the bottom. Um, and that basically stops it from sinking into the sand. But as a chair, um, superb, but more than happy to recommend these. They're a little bit pricier. These are around the $200 mark, but you could sit in this, you could live in this chair for a trip around Australia, you could live in it for a year or whatever, it's super comfy. The fact that it's mesh as well, um, really allowed it, the heat to sort of transfer through. So you weren't sort of sitting in a chair getting quite hot and sweaty, uh, which you do find with some of the other chairs occasionally. Um, yeah, happy to recommend a chair. It's, it's one of the best chairs I've used actually, especially down the weight. So the next one we've got is the Yeti chair. Um, we wanted to try these guys out because all their other products are superb quality. Um, just everything is really well made. Uh, their stubby holders, just everything they do is really, really good. Um, the chair itself is a little bit weighty. Um, not sure what weight it is, I'm going to say probably similar to the Navigator, maybe it's 7 or 8, 9 kilos, which is okay if you've got payload. Um, stack up size, not great in comparison to the Helinox, but pretty similar to the Navigator. Um, setup time is 
easy as. Little handle on the back, but that's pretty much it. Um, comfort wise though, this thing is superb. Again, mesh, so you don't get sort of super hot on it. Uh, handles, it's, it, it really is a comfy, comfy chair. Like I, I can't fault the comfort at all. I'd say it's probably even, I don't know, neck and neck comfort wise with a helmet ox. Uh, you do have a big cup over here as well. It doesn't have the wine glass hole like the navigator does. Um, but you can also tell just feeling a look at this chair, you'd expect to have this chair for 10 plus years. It's a very expensive chair. Um, these retail, I think, for around the $400 mark, which um, is a very expensive camping chair. It's not cheap at all. But what we got sick of is paying $60, $70, $80, $90 for a chair that only lasts 12 months or 18 months anyway. Um, a chair of this quality, honestly, I'd expect that the last 10 years, if you look at it that way, it's 40 bucks a year as opposed to 80 or $90 every couple of years. I suppose it all works out in the wash. Um, but you know you've got a really good, quality, reliable chair. Um, yeah, more than happy to rate this chair quite highly. Um, superbly comfortable, good quality, a little bit weighty and a little bit expensive. So if I had to sort of rank these chairs, um, I'm probably going to say the Navigator first. Um, it's just got a few extra features, like your wine glass hole, which is important for my wife apparently. Uh, the stubby holder as well. Plus it is super comfy. And it's even a little pocket at the back as well for all that stuff you're going to forget. Um, Weight's okay, it's not brilliant. The pack up's okay, it's not brilliant. Uh, but value as well, it's only 120 bucks. So it's above the standard sort of quality that you get from most of the camping stores. Um, the quality is quite good. You can see this chair lasting a good probably 10 years out. Definitely something you're going to keep around as opposed to having to change it every couple of years like we do. This would probably be my pick out of three. Um, second by the Hillinox, uh, this thing's unreal. Uh, just the weight of it. So when we are going uh, in a heavier van and we don't have a lot to pack, so we're going to do a Gip River Drive next year, uh, we know we're going to be tight pushed for space. Uh, we know we're going to be pushed for weight. Um, I will definitely be taking the Hillinox on that trip just because I have a weight restriction. Um, it's not a cheap chair of 200 bucks, but it is Perfectly comfortable, um, the quality is amazing. Uh, and then to the Yeti's probably my third. Uh, only reason being, I mean, it's probably the most comfortable. It's probably got the best features. I'd say it's probably the best quality as well. Um, the only thing that's sort of downfall of it is it is heavy. Uh, it's heavier than the other three by a bit, fair bit. And it's 400 bucks. Um, it's a lot of chair. So I know not everyone's going to jump out and buy a $400 chair, but um, we just thought we'd give it a shot. So I'd say Navigator's the winner.